what is up guys proper truth here and welcome back to the channel so today what you guys are gonna be getting is actually um one of my personal favorites and that's uh cybers or firewall however you guys want to call it this is a personal favorite deck of mine i've been playing probably since it's dropped and um and probably since i've started this channel so um i think this deck is a really good rogue deck uh, can play through a lot of hand traps and uh it's just like a like an up upgraded version of synchrons in my personal opinion um meta wise no not at least not this deck i wouldn't consider it can uh probably annoy a lot of the meta decks because it can play through a lot of stuff the only meta cybers that i can consider it, I, you know is they are still rogue decks but they can uh creep up with the meta and that's uh salomon gray and marine says uh, in a few months we'll be getting the malice deck which i definitely feel like that's going to be the best cybers deck that's probably ever come out and if we still have shifter in the format it's going to be an extreme problem but uh enough said let's get straight to the profile guys <clears throat> so first up i'm playing three firewall defensers i think firewall defensers is uh is a mandatory at three i've seen some bills play too but i feel like this card was more of a replacement of lady debug running at three you know lady debug you can run that my personal opinion one to two um i don't think you really need three lady debugs i feel like this is a little bit more better um simply because the moment is linked that it doesn't matter how it's um it lets you fire a uh, firewall. It lets you summon a firewall monster straight out of the deck. And um, the only downside is that you're locked into cybers, but it doesn't matter. It's a pure cybers deck. So, in my personal opinion, three uh, defensors. Next up, you're playing three microcoders. Microcoders is um, basically your rota. And if the moment is used for link interior for a code talker, you'll search for a sign, a spell, a trap out of your deck. And if 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 you link it from the board, you can either search a sign a spell a trap, or a level four um, cyber monster from your deck, uh, which is really good. I think personally, um, I still want to still I still want to play this at three just simply because I want to see a lot more, not search it. So like if I see it in my first hand and I have sign in my name in my hand, then I can search probably this and you know be able to go off from there. You know, um, well, a search for the firewall defender is what I meant. Next up, I'm playing two Lady Debugs. I had dropped this down to uh, two from from three. Like I like I said before, I think this is uh, the Firewall Defensor is a little bit more better in my in my opinion. Um, Lady Debug is still good. It's still a Rota for um, level three or lower Cybers monsters. So I still feel like you need to play this. Then I'm playing the one um, Code Generator, another monster that lets you link into the hand. The moment is used as link material. You can full spare your Cybers monster. Malice is actually getting a built-in generator, but instead of sending it to the graveyard, you will banish it from the deck, which is really good because then you can send, um, with this, you can send a, a Sigma, and then with her, you can send Dotscaper. So um, I think that's personally good. I dropped this down from two to one. I, I just, I'm just testing that one so far. It's not too bad. Next up, I'm playing the Mathmec Engine, which is two Sigmas, the one addition and the one subtraction. Um, even though we don't have diameter, I still feel like um, Math Mix still play a good, a, a good engine, you know, in any Cybers deck, uh, especially uh, Firewall or Code Talker builds. So definitely, I'm playing two Sigmas because if I foolish one with the generator, at least I can guarantee that, and special summon it from the grave. Or if I draw one, I can definitely special summon it from the hand. You know, so I, I still think that um you should still place uh, Math Max in any Cypress build. Next up, I'm playing the one uh, Corrupt Ibli. I feel like Corrupt Ibli in this format can um can stop a lot of decks. The only thing is with Snake Eyes, if you don't, you lock them uh, with the Ibli, you know, they can still play. So that's why I'm going back and forth between playing this or even playing the Ford Mud Skipper. Because at least the Ford Mud Skipper will give you an extender. You know, um, this just stops like the Nibiru plays and stuff like that. So this can help, especially if you have this and parallel exceeding your hand. You know, you link and you go chain one, chain two, and then boom, Ibli. Now you know you're not going to get Nibiru. So, my personal opinion, that's why I'm still using it because of Nibiru reasons. And uh, on top of that, they can't imperm. So, that that's one of my main reasons. I still feel like I want to play Mud Skipper though. Um, so yeah, right now I'm playing the one Ibli, the one Dotscaper, uh, it's Dotscaper, this card is, is going to be really good when Malice comes out. 
and then I'm playing two parallel exceeds. I think two parallel exceeds dropping it from three to two is way better. Um, you know, you can always if playing three, if you use the first one, the second one comes out now, you know the third one's stuck in your deck somewhere. Um, but if you see both of them, it can be annoying. But just, even though if you have both in your hand, this is still an, uh, an extender because the moment you link you can special summon and you'll have another body on the board. You know, it's just you got this stuck in your hands, you could probably pitch it for sign and mining or something. You know, um, stuff like that. So, uh, two parallel exceeds, no complaints. Uh, the one Gachari. Uh, Gachari is Gachari. This is protection if it's in defense mode. None of your cyber monsters could be destroyed by card effects uh, once that turn. And this helps you definitely OTK um, to guarantee that you know your firewall doesn't. Nothing happens to it. It's just gonna go for the game. It makes it unaffected until the end of your opponent's next turn. So really good card. Then the rest of the firewall engine, I'm playing the one guardian, the one um, Fanta phantom. Um, this is what your defender is gonna bring out. Either one of these guys. This lets you. This is another micro coder searching for another sign and mining. I mean, uh, sign and spell a trap card out your deck. But then the other effect is that you have to send a card from your hand to the graveyard after. This is a mo built-in monster reborn. The moment is used for a link summon. So then you'll link it off for like a link to a comeback. Then you'll link it off again to go into um. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, the link one. Oh my god, what's his name? The link link decoder. You'll go into the link decoder, and then link decoder has like a similar effect to him by special summoning itself. Um, when you use it for link material for a uh, co top of a uh, 2300 attack. Next up is the only hand traps I'm playing right now is actually the three ashes, and I might as well just throw in the three imperms. So I trust me it, it was really like I was really second guessing on keeping these in here or maybe dropping it to two to two because this is a heavy combo deck anything that's really heavy combo you really don't want to play any hand traps because of um the consistency that you, you that you lose but I was like you know what let me just still give it a shot if not these will all be extenders like cyber extenders probably like a backup secretary and stuff like that or anything that's more damaging that I can use to go up against the meta. So this is the only three hand traps that I am playing. Then after the spells I'm playing, of course, the three Cyanet Minings. You have to play three. This is your um, this is your tuning. This is your rota. Pretty much any cybers out the deck. So can't complain. This card actually just shot up because of malice. Then I'm playing the three um, small worlds. That's another reason why I'm playing um, Ash. Also, is because it is a it is a, a um, an extender. You know, um, it is bait for Small World. So um, three Small Worlds because pretty much you can search anything out this deck for Small World. The one Call by the Grave because it's Call by the Grave. I really believe that this card is gonna go to two. I feel like they're gonna hit Shift to the two and then put Call by the Grave to two and probably put Cross out to two. And I think that the 2 to 2 ratio will be really good. So I think this might come back. So I could be wrong, but I would, now that they're cheap, I will pick them up, guys. Then I drop uh, Sonic Codec to 2. I had I used to play 3, but I, I dropped it to 2. It's a, it's pretty much a enhanced Sonic Mining, <laughs> to be honest. For every app you search, every time you link something to a Code Talker, you search that attribute of that link out of your deck. So if I summon... Um, transcode he's an earth I get to search for code generated because he's an earth and it's not once per turn it's actually um one per attribute so really good really good card I dropped it because it's so easy to search now with between microcoder and in the phantom it's easy then the one um equation because of the math mech that I'm playing so it's you know free monster reborn I'm playing one tactics because it's uh it's a really good card regardless in combo decks like people are gonna try to stop your combo so why not play the one tactics um i want to play a second but i'm just trying to find the room for it but i think as of right now it's been working for me so one is really good then i'm playing the one rollback um i think sign rollback is good also because especially this card is gonna be really good when uh, malice comes out as well because you get to target a cyber's monster that's banished and then you just it's a free special summon and then like if you have uh if your life points are like two thousand or less you can actually target up to two of your of your banished cybers and just add them back to your hand so it's a recovery 
so it's really good especially like if you um like for an example if you link into the link decoder or your firewall guardian they get banished because you use their effects already um you can just bring it right back or like if you protect the code talker banish the like you banish a trans code to summon it back from the graveyard you can activate this and bring back the trans code and activate trans codes effect um to special summon a link a link three or lower from your graveyard so it's it's a really good uh, uh recovery from there i think one is uh it's good and on top of that it's a quick play so why not then the one um, Salomon Green Sanctuary because I am playing Bay Links and I'm playing the Ibli. But even if I wasn't playing the Ibli, I think I would still play, uh, play this because this is like pitch fodder for the Phantom. So really, really good, really good. And then the last card is actually Sinek Conflict. Sinek Conflict is uh, an Omni Negate. It's a Call by the Grave Omni Negate. Like when I say Call by the Grave, it's because you can't, the card you negate and banish, it actually banishes it. Um, they can't activate that card's effect until the end of the next turn. So that's why I say it's called by the grave in a weird way, but really, really good card. So 40 cards in the main deck, guys. Off to the, let's go to the extra deck. So we got you guys right now. So first up, I am playing the one, uh, Death of Worm, Cyber's Death of Worm, it's just in here because of the firewall, the firewall play, so it's it's a free spell and trap negate. Just one. Then the one uh Albertician, because you're playing the Math Mech engine, and it gets you to search for um whatchamacallit, the either the equation so you can extend or search for one of the other ones to extend. So definitely um definitely definitely uh, one of the Alberticians. Okay, so next up is the uh, one Salomon Gray Bay Links. It's a uh, Bay Links to search for the Sanctuary. Then the one Link Decoder, because um, if it's used to summon a, a Cybers monster that has 2300 attack, it comes right back. So you can't go wrong. It just gets banished. But like I said, you'll play Rollback. You can bring it right back. Anything that you banish is pretty much coming right back. And then, um, let me just do this. Off the link twos is the Splash Mage, the Update Jammer, the Crystal Heart, the Cold Talker, and the uh, Cold Talker Inverted. These are pretty much your link twos that you're gonna be using. Splash Mage, because it's a free monster born, so then this will bring back one of your cybers. You'll link it off the link decoder and then link that off, and so forth and so forth. It's just so much recurring. Uh, that that happens in this deck update jammer because update jammer is an OTK if you got the OTK go for it guys um, Crystal heart brings back the trans code be able to give you another body to link with a really good card uh, Cold talker because cold talker and inverted because it is a you're playing a lot of cold talkers But mainly because you're playing the um, micro coder and the generator. These will probably be your the ones that you're going into first um, Really really good really good uh, card uh, for inverter because inverter just special summons a uh, cybers out of your hand for free you know it doesn't matter the level any of that so i really like that that's the link two guys as for the link threes it's not really that much it's your trans codes your protect code and your heat soul talker so this is pretty much your lineup uh protect code is really good especially if you have if you have the um like if you have the firewall package on the board, it's definitely good protection. Transcode is transcode. Anything that's code linked is can be targeted, including himself. This is also a good protection because any of your um, link fours or, or higher uh, cyber monsters, they can be destroyed by battle and they can be targeted with effects. So it's like insane. Like it's really good protection. And the fact that he come, he's a quick effect monster reborn himself by banishing link monsters that equals his link ratings. So you can just banish a one link three, or banish a, a, a link two and a link one, or banish three link ones to bring them back out. But this card is gonna be crazy with Malice because on um, your opponent's turn, you'll just banish um, one of the, you'll either banish, uh, uh, which, what's her name, the Queen or, or Ransom, and then come right back, they'll trigger and come back. So you're getting two link bodies on your opponent's turn for the price of one really good and a heat so just for the draw power and the attribute then um the only link fours i'm playing is the firewall and uh access code talker um 
it's really no explanation. It's a cold token deck, fire slash firewall deck. This is pretty much uh, playmakers two ace monsters. Really good free bouncing and popping that your opponent can't respond to. So I personally think those are the only link fours you really need. And then the only last link you I'm playing is the um the terahertz. I think terahertz. I'm back and forth between terahertz and singularity. I want to play both, but the extra deck is just too tight. It's too tight. Um, I just personally think that terahertz is better because it gives you the the, the the fusion to send to the grave. You know, you can you can send sigma. You can send you can actually send dotscaper. You have options with him. And on top of that, he's a personal OTK. Singularity gets to bounce cards on the field. That's for every summoning mechanic that 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 you have in the grave. But I just think personally, like competitive wise. Terahertz is better. Terahertz actually hurts um, Tenpai as well because um, you negate any monster effects the moment you're in the battle phase. Like your, your opponent's monster effects are negated in the battle. They're not even negated. Your opponent just can't activate them. So the moment you go into battle phase, your opponent can't go, you know, uh, Chandra and all that to, to synchro. You're just, this is just going to smack them both. And if he has multiple different attributes, he's attacking multiple different times so that's the reason why i'm playing terror hurts because you do see a lot of tempies in my uh, in my uh, local so this is pretty much my answer if you get this out you're more than likely gonna win the duel but your opponent uh, a lot of people didn't even know that effect with him but your opponent when the moment they find out your opponent is gonna try next game to make sure this card does not come out so there you guys have it that was actually my uh co-talker deck and um or slash firewall whichever you want to call it <laughs> um like i said this is a personal favorite guys if you guys got any suggestions let me know in the comment box below also let me know in the comment box what you guys think um is it possible that we can mix maybe some of this with the malice and try to make it a little bit competitive me personally malice is competitive by itself but just to tweak it up a little bit you know you want to have some fun with some firewall engines you know is it is it worth it you guys let me know um, other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope to see you at the next video. Later.